Hi, welcome back. In the last video, we built a locomotive for the steampunk train. Now we're going to continue with the carriage on this one. And as always, before we start, please consider like and subscribe. And you can check out my Patreon for the download for all my builds. And a huge thank you to Cradleholics team for providing me with Cradleholics mod pack for this build. And now with the latest version, we have an updated steam and rails. You can check out on our website. The link will be in the description. Now, the carriage. We're gonna use a modern style bogey. Switch it up to dark oak locks, as well as in case chain drive and a fluid tank. Some cock wheels on the side, and Ockram slabs on the rest of the side. While in the center would be a tired red ball in the copycat panels. Alright, let's place down the wall frames. At the very end of the car here, I will use the frame panels. But the rest would be a train casing and a spruce locks. Place a stair here above the entrances. And from the inside, we'll have the same texture as the rest of the frame. Now we can place the wall with the copycat panels. Small dark oak tires on the first layer, and the dark oak trapdoors. Also a dark oak for the windows. Have the top layer mostly be a train casing, and a chisel deep slate on the rest. Now we need to add a dark oak texture to the frame panel as well. Then you grab rails on this. And the passenger stairs. And one more of the vestibule using the copper cat steps. And then finish the wall on the side. Alright, now let's do the roof. Right at the center, we'll use the Orkums. And I have some glass here for the light. The other side will be a dark oak as well. You have it be a panel at the edge. And maybe let's add a trapdoor on the top. And decorating with a placard. Also a coupler.
Alright, let's get the inside furniture ready. Funnels above the door and lamps in the vestibule. Now before I decorate the interior, let me make another one of these carriage. Now we're ready. The first car is mostly going to be kind of a workspace. Contraptions and machines are going to be on this side. Just like that. I'm going to replace this frame with a brass mesh fence. And I have a stack counter in this section. A small seat on the side. And in this section, it's gonna be a resting area. We'll have a bed. A couple of seats. Alright, that is one car finished. Now the second car is gonna be a tad bit more luxury. So I will be making an observatory in the back. Place the railing with the copycat panels. I should fix the floor first. Let's go with the polished deep slate. Right, now let's do the rest of the interior first. Have this one be a mesh fence. This section will be a reading area. We we'll have a table. and a small table and sofa on the side. And this middle section will be the main lounge. Some flowers in the pot. And I'm gonna make this a two seating just like the previous car. Also the bed. Let's move the clipboard to here. And have this one be a redstone link. Now, the observatory. We can replace this with a tiled red ball. And place the carpet on the rest. I 
I'm gonna need a lamp. Let's put a placard right in the back. And the train is finished. Oh yes, perfect timing. Steam Rails just got updated. We have a lot of new stuffs, so let's try some of them out. Do you prefer with or without placard? I'll better let you decide. Press Alt key here, and we have more smokestack options. My goodness, the new update is great! We now also have train buffers and couplers. Perfect. Now let's glue the train. Always make sure that the glue is not intersecting. Don't forget to break the marker blocks. Should be ready for assemble. Should be ready for assemble. Let me try relocate this train, see if we left anything behind. Seems we got everything. And there we go. Thank you all so much for watching, I never actually built anything in steampunk before, so I hope you like this one. And as always, if you are interested in getting this build, the link to my Patreon will be down in the description, as well as Cradleholic Smart Pack. You can check out the new website, and as well as our Discord. Have a nice day to you all, and I'll see you in the next one.